Alright, how's it going guys? Yeah, I'm back for some more Winter Rescue. And we just had another blizzard come through. Which was just freaking glorious, let me tell you. And luckily it is over. And it says that tomorrow is going to be 12 and negative 12, negative 13. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I've been hovering over here by the campfire again. And I did, before we had our blizzard, go for a heck of a ride out looking for um, quartz. I originally went and looked in a whole bunch of caves i don't know if it doesn't spawn or if i just have really bad luck or if it spawns really low um but i also took the um spade out here i do believe that's the one i was using yeah it tells you the stones directly below you and still couldn't find anything. Also done a bit of organizing around here. I got a couple drawers made so I could clean some stuff out. Got rid of a couple of those. I now have all my inedible or dangerous to eat stuff there. And my seeds in there. Still got a little bit more cleaning to do, but... I got a bit of it done, and we were looking for the quartzite so we could do this precision manufacturing technology, because we need an electron tube, and then we need to submit four more, so we need five of them. And to make this, we need the polished rose quartz, which means we need redstone and nether quartz and the only way i know of to get nether quartz doesn't even show up in here i don't know why but that is to use a um gold pan on sand but i did find a heck of a beach which I have dug up. And if we take and do this, we can make sandstone. <clears throat> and if we go back to the quartz thing here, it'll show that in a millstone, we can use smooth sandstone specifically and get a 40 and a 30% chance at nether quartz. Well, I figured first off, we have a stone cutter. Chiseled, cut, slabs, stairs, wall. Well, thanks for that. Where the hell did he come from? I guess my organizing wasn't good enough for the Graper. Guess I have more cleanup to do now. <sighs> Give me a minute, let me fix this little mess, and I'll be right back. Alright. Well, I guess I didn't need all of those bones that were in a drawer here, because... Well, they're gone. And unfortunately, all of my lapis is gone. Good thing I used a little bit of it to make a second power one bow from a junk bow I had laying around. And I actually made another power one bow and made my bow a power two. <clears throat> so... 
that's taken care of at least with the uh, lapis that I now no longer have. Anyways, back to our sandstone thing here. I think I threw the sand in here. There we go. So I did notice that the block cutting doesn't work, but I did see, uh, where is it? Here it is. Smooth sandstone. So let's go see if this actually works. Make our smooth sandstone. Really? I shouldn't have shifted. There we go. And we need this to go... Yeah, that way. Oh. Smooth sandstone. So now, if we take this... Drop it in there. And... That. Stick that on there. <clears throat> Aha, we have nether quartz. All right, so we now have a much better way of getting nether quartz. I just need to do a few more of these. And we'll see if we can actually do this precision thing here. <clears throat> I do need to change this as well because when I'm turning this this way, it's actually going backwards for my water pump. I'm going to need to fix that. And I also, while we were out, found a, another village and got me some more nuts. So that means I can get my plant oil up again. Which really dries out your mouth, by the way. All right. Mill this down. And nothing. Fine. That's three. And where is my soup? That'll get me nice and full. And I do believe it's your saturation that goes down first when you're doing this. So if you eat something pretty decent right before you do it you don't actually lose hunger you just you lose saturation all right and we got six all right so that's what we need for that now we need I'm going to have to make some more redstone because we need five of these. And what was it we needed to do here? Millstone will give me one with 80%. Blasting will give me mercury. Milling will give me two with a 50% chance at two. <clears throat> All right, so. Back to the mill. Throw eight of them in there. And it takes a while to do this. There we go. There's 25 more. All right, 
Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And we can throw this back in there because we're not going to need that one. Oh, and by the way, I found my snowshoes. They were in here. That's why I couldn't find them. All right. Eat up my rose quartz. go and then we need a redstone torch and an iron nugget for each one of them put the sandpaper back before I lose it here <clears throat> need five redstone torches five of those Got any iron nuggets in here? Yes, we do. And there we go. There's our electron tubes. All right, so we need two regular size cogs, two large cogs, and one of those. I've got the two small right here i've got one large there on the wall but we need that over there so let's see what it is we need to do to make a large one so we need eight plates around the shaft and that'll give us two all right And I have five bronze, but I've got plenty of cast iron. Um, no, I'm rather cheap. Let's make up some bronze. Um, I gotta break through my floor. Still cannot believe that happened. I've never had a mob down here. I've lit this place up pretty decent. My guess is he might have spawned over there, but I don't know. And I hate using the whole F7 thing. The X's annoy me. I'm constantly yelling at Junior to turn that crap off because he has it on all the time. I guess I probably should turn it on just long enough to check that out down there now that, well... I know it apparently isn't safe. And I've been needing a new staircase anyways, so. I'll make a better staircase for it. And. Let's just. All of that in there. All of it's not needed, but we're going to throw all of it in there. It'll do whatever it can do. Which is three for two. I need to go get the other bronze. That should do two sets. So that gives me four sheets. Have one sheet in here, so I need three more. So that means I need to do two more batches. So let's take six and we'll go do two more batches. All right, that'll be enough. We can get this recipe done. go all right so let's go see what we can do mint now we need a common paper submit the four electron tubes and any four cog wheels 
So first, get a piece of paper, get four more cogwheels, and we need to submit those, submit those, put in our paper, hit the reset button, and let's see what we've got here. So... We definitely want to do that first because this will give us number one. We can do this. <clears throat> and uh, these out of here. We can get that out of there. Do that, which now gives me this ink. I need to get to another ink. One there. Do that. Get rid of number two. That, which will get rid of that, which will get us number three. There's number four. Now we need to get into there. So we'll do that. That gives us number five. There is our questy thing. Now we can do this. And we'll go ahead and do that, that. And we are done. Research complete. So with that research, we now have new recipe for rotation speed controller and precision mechanism <clears throat> and we still can't do the ore crushing the electromagnetic it looks like our next thing is going to be boosted research that's going to unlock rubber tool self-reflection ore crushing electromagnetic and heat and mix so this will be the next one we need to do. So we're going to need to make two of the precision mechanisms for that. The rotational speed controller. Two large cast iron gears. Or cog wheels. And four of the small ones. So that's going to be our next bit to do. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this um, precision mechanism so we're going to need two electron tubes five shafts and two brass plates um wait a minute this says we need two of those right yeah and the recipe only gives us one all right. So three, six. We need two sheets per. So that should be good. Quiet down out there. Die a little quieter, would you please? We got work we're trying to do in here. Apparently, precision work now. Now, I'm almost guaranteeing that the uh, other thing we need to make also is going to take at least one of these. So, once I get this one made, I'm probably going to have to make another one. Let's go ahead and get what we need done for this one. Which means we need more quartz. Because we need... Um... Two of those per. So we're going to need four of them. Uh, I'm going to have to go and get me more sand soon. So I'm going to go ahead and do 16. And unfortunately there wasn't any sandstone under the sand. But it was a big beautiful beach. <clears throat> I'm actually going to go back and uh, dig up a whole bunch more sand there. Because... Well, 
I can't stand doing the gold panning thing because those gold pans just don't last long enough. Hello. Get inside. Thank you. <coughs> Let me get that. And really, I only got three. Well, that stinks. Let's go ahead and throw those in there so I can get these milled up. That's going to take a bit to get done. Um, let me grab some more sand. I only need one more, but I'm going to do four. Since I only have a 30 and 40% chance. Might as well. Hey, I stopped that one just in time. Alright, give me a minute. I'm going to get all this milled up. I'll be right back with you. All right, so I did those four. Ended up with eight of them now. So we only need four of these. At least we currently know we need four. And we need the sandpaper again, which I'm going to have to make more of, it looks like. Hopefully we can get this done with this. But no, no, we cannot. Alright, and is that just sand and paper? I can never remember these kind of recipes. Yeah, that's what it was. <clears throat> Alright, and then... We're going to need four nuggets. Oh, that's that. So we need that, that, and then spin like that. And that gives us the two of those. All right, and then the other thing, which I'm guaranteeing is going to use one of these. Oh, no, apparently it doesn't. Uh, window grip, potato can. Okay. So, apparently there's a quest for that. Uh, we're going to get into that in a minute. Steam powered... That is, I don't even see the damn thing. Now, this is what we're trying to make. Oh, we need mechanical crafter for that. Okay, so that's going to be a whole nother pain in the ass. I will make that stuff in the next one because that's going to be a little bit more than what I plan on doing planned on doing today so I need I get three of them for each recipe I need 15 so I need 15 of those <clears throat> um yeah so I need 15 more oh wait a minute no I need five recipes of these. So I'm going to need five more electron tubes, ten more gears, the brass casing, and crafting tables. Okay, so I will work on that in between. We're not going to sit here and try to get all of that done today. Because 
as I said, I have a few other things I want to get done. <clears throat> One of them is that I noticed that we actually have this quest in here now for making the crock pot. And I had looked at a lot of recipes that needed this, and I swear the thing took iron before. Now it only takes stone brick. I could have been wrong before. We'll find out. But stone brick is mortar and two stone. Or, I found out we can if... Um, I know regular stone does it. That's what I'm looking for. There it is. These. I looked at this when I was cold the other morning. Stone brick. No mortar needed. Alright, so that. And then it was those. And does it have to be charcoal? Do I have charcoal? <clears throat> Let's go down and see if I have charcoal. I have cold coke. I don't have charcoal. I have way too much slag. Hey, maybe that got blown up too. Did that get blown up? Hey, I think that got blown up. <laughs> I'm actually happy that that got blown up. Because, well, I need all that crap. Let's see if I have some charcoal laying around here. <clears throat> I can't believe that actually needs charcoal and I can't use coal. But yeah, that's staying right on charcoal only. Well, boo. Let's see here. I actually have wood in here to make me some charcoal. So, give me a minute and I'll get a piece made. Ah, crap. In one way I'm happy, in another way I'm quite sad. I forgot they did this in the newer versions of storage drawers. There's my bones. There's my lapis, which is a great thing. And there's my slag. I'm so used to the 1710 version where you actually have to have tape. And I forgot that these, when you break them, just work. Which, boo. But, anyways. There is my charcoal. Put this in here. And there is our crock pot, which gives us our first steps to um, cooking quest, which gives us a cookbook. And then we have rotten flesh is disgusting. If we treat it a certain way, we could process it to be edible food. But it doesn't say what you have to do to process it. And apparently there's no recipe for that. So that kind of stinks. <clears throat> Let's see. We've got all kinds of rotten flesh. Let's just crap. Oh. Well. I guess I didn't look. That gives it to us. And now it's going to tell us. We can make meatballs. Any meat... And no non-edibles. Take that. And... How do you start this bad boy? Um... I'm guessing light it. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. It doesn't light. Um... We put sticks in it. No, that don't work either. Um, hmm. Does it need water? No, because that would be the stew pot. This is a crock pot. Um, hmm. 
There's no recipe button. Let's get regular meat. Mm. <clears throat> it's not lighting. Hmm. Okay. Cookbook. When in doubt, make bear read. Thanks a lot. Cookbook is a block that is used to cook very uh, dish of basic ingredients. Crockpot has four slots for ingredients, each of which must be filled with a piece of food. <sighs> Make me freaking read. There you go. Are you happy now? Or rotten flesh gives us monster lasagna. Well, that didn't help. It poisoned us and made us hungry. So we're not eating any more of that. <coughs> Let's see if we can actually make meatballs with chicken. We make chicken meatballs. I'd really like to know what we're supposed to do with this rotten flesh, though. What are we supposed to make that's not going to kill us? Um, monster food meats. Uh, make spicy chili. Um, rotten flesh more than one rotten flesh and anything inedible and anything frozen but that gives us some monster crap we just ate that killed us or hurt us fancy spiral tubers that's potatoes a stick monster food less than one i'm thinking that's less than or equal to one no meat. Remove hunger. Okay, so we have to have two things that are edible. Now, how do we do that? I guess that's less than or equal to. All right, so there's our meatballs. We made meatballs. All right. And then... That's just have a snowball. Um, thought I threw snowballs in. There we go. So that's that quest done. Uh, what do we get for cooking snowballs? Do we get anything? Wet goop. I guess you won't want to eat this. What is this? Yeah, you don't want to eat wet goop. It gives you nausea. Well, listen, learn. Don't eat that. All right, so I'll play around with this a bit more, see what other kinds of things I can make, and see if I can figure out what this leather, this uh, monster jerky one is here. That I'm gonna try to make those tubers or whatever the hell that was, and uh, see how that works. And I'll be back with you guys. in the next one and we'll see if we can get this next research done for making our well we'll make the mechanical crafter so we can get to this boosted research one well i'll make them and then we'll do the thing how about that all right have a good one take it easy and i will see you next time also, thanks a lot for all the support. You guys are doing great. 
series is doing great and I am rather enjoying it. And thanks as always to my patrons and channel members.